Greetings. Let's continue where we left off. So, one thing that was brought to my attention is that when our ship crashes, it says play one wins. Let's sort that out first. Upper body uh, on your left, make sure you've got spaceship blue expanded and click on upper body and uh, let's apply this use custom actions uh, checkbox. Let's just tick it. Click add and then click your click and drag your user interface onto it and in where it says no function click on that and select ui script and game over so now when we crash it should say game over and when we land correctly oops Let's say player one wins. Okay, great. Okay, so um, let's finish this off. I think the mechanics are in place. Let's get rid of. Um, I can get rid of you. Okay, I'm just gonna save this and get an idea from the actual demo scene what that looks like. So I'm gonna go into the examples, lander, and open that up. Okay, so they've got the background, which is the starry background and just a bunch of rock images placed all around. Okay, so we are going to do something similar here. Obviously not exactly the same. And yeah, we'll add a starting platform and of course the ending platform. I see they're using these, what they call cranes. Okay, for uh, for the stand. So let's do something similar. So click back on assets, scenes, and sample scene, or whatever you named your scene. Uh, let's make this platform smaller. I'm going to raise it. Go back to assets, images, and I think it's blocks. Okay. Let's add a crane in and rotate it. Okay, let's rotate it. Oops. Yours should just show um, Z for rotation. My Unity Playground doesn't seem to be activated, which is not a big. It's not a big issue. Let's scale this down. Move that. Move it over here. I'm going to duplicate that. Control D. Move that here. Okay, so that's landing pad. And let's move this these little crane objects under there. Um, let's make sure they are there. Landing pad, okay, so let's add landing pad on the right hand side here. And we've got all of these, or oh, we've got this little, just one image. <laughs> I'm going to delete that images and let's go find these rocks. Did they use asteroids for that? I think they used asteroids. So you can just add a few here. Just place them around, rotate them as you see fit. Here's the moon object that they had in the scene. The color there is yellow for some reason. We'll just leave it as white. Um, let's use this thing here as well. And let's place a landing pad here on top of this last red one. It does seem a bit empty, doesn't it? Let's add some more. Just remember, you can rotate it as well. So get some randomness. Another one of these. So remember, the main mechanics of the game is in place. This is just to make it look good. 
this doesn't actually look that good let's just get one of these um, resize it I guess we can have them overlapping nothing wrong with that or should we move it yeah let's leave it there and now let's move our landing pad onto this guy. Add in a background, go back to images, backgrounds, BG space, just plunk it in there. And while you are here, go to sprite renderer. Or in layer, we need to make sure that this background is drawn first. So we need to make that minus one. By default, all these other images are going to be at zero. So the easiest thing is just to set the background to a negative number or something less than whatever these images are set to. Um, and now we need to tile this background. Mm, draw mode. Tiled. <laughs> and we'll make it continuous. So now we can click on the background. Just selecting the rect tool. So I'm selecting my background. Okay, so now I can click and resize it. Okay. Cool, that looks good. My spaceship fell down. <laughs> Let's just select all the asteroids and it colliders on them. So let's select all of them. And we are going to add a Polygon Collider 2D, which will wrap your collider according to the shape of your image. Okay, that's looking good. Let's just move our spaceship. Um, I'm just going to start you off over here. Good. Try this again. So if the bottom part touches <laughs> touches the ground, nothing's going to happen. Sheesh, I can't even play my own game. Oh, whoops! Uh, I'm not supposed to be able to collide into the moon. Just select that and remove the collider on this. Try that one more time. Ah, great. Okay, experiment with that and come up with your own design. It wasn't too bad after all. Let me know what else you guys want to see using Unity Playground. And um, even if it's one of your own ideas, let me know and I will see if it is possible to do with unity playground um otherwise we can uh, make like a bit of a simplified version of your idea and see how that works otherwise i'm going to get started on some more programming tutorials so we can start making some proper games okay hope you enjoy that enjoy